Yes, um, you are welcome to do it yourself, Digital Selene. Yes, for more information about us, please visit our website at https doityourselfdigitals.com. Yes, you can also access more educative tutorials like these by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Do It Yourself Digitals. Yeah, do follow us, do like our Facebook page for more informative and educative content. Uh, please visit our Facebook page at facebook.com slash do it yourself digitals. You do you have access to a variety of all um, we have to present for you. The, I promise you it's really educative and informative. And um, please, if you would love us to address or teach a particular topic and um, you, you really long us to help you break it down on a much more um, understandable and easy to follow approach, please do direct all emails to admin at doityourselfdigitals.com. We'll be glad to attend to all your requests. Yeah, today we are going to be considering um, a data science and SQL series. Uh, we are considering today alter, drop, and truncate tables. Okay, so what is our objective? Our main objective, therefore, is to describe the alter table, as we said, the drop table and truncate statement, explain the syntax, and use the statement in query. So at the end of today's tutorial, you will be able to understand and how to use the alter, drop, and truncate table statements. All right, so let's look at the alter table uh, statement or the, the syntax. You use the alter table statement to add or remove columns from a table. You can also use it to modify the data types of the column. You can also use it to add or remove keys and also to add or remove constraints. The syntax of the alter table statement is shown even uh, as shown below here. You can see, you see alter table followed by the table name, the name of the table you want to alter. Yeah, this is different from the create table statement, though you do not use pretenses to enclose the parameters for the alter table statement. You don't, you do not. So all this, uh, you see, this um, angle bracket is not there. It's not part of it, actually. Okay, so let's look at an example. So in this case, we want to add a column telephone number to the table. So what do we do? We just say alter table auto. So the name of this table is called auto. So you say alter table auto add column telephone number. And you now specify the data type. So in this case, you specify it as the big int. And what do you add? You can then have it populated and be able to enter integers up to 19 characters digit long okay but what in the case you decide that wow i would like to use iphones or um, um some character style in the in the data type of telephone number what do you do well you can still alter the column so you can use the add alter table alter column statement in this case the syntax goes to us, alter table, table name, alter column, column name, set, and the data type. Uh, data type, uh, the, the, you now specify the data type. So, for example, we can say alter table, auto, alter column, telephone number, that's the name of the column. Set, data type, you now specify the data type, which is car 20. Okay? So in this case, we can then have characters in like I think, like plus sign and things like that in the data. Okay, so, so what else can we do? What of if you now decide that, oh, I want to alter it back again? Oh, you want to, uh, you must take notes here actually, before you use the alter column statement, the data type you are specifying, 
must be in agreement with what the data that has already been entered in the column. For example, if there are characters in this column and you want to set it back to, let's say, um, an int, int, an int, uh, you want to set it back to big int or so, you are going to get, uh, you are going to get error. Yes, you are going to get an error. Yeah, an error notification is going to come to you because it does not support. So what do you want to do? In this case, you may want to drop the column entirely and maybe re-add it again and start the process again. So in this case, you want to use the alter table drop column statement. So how does it go? You say, for example, you can say alter table auto drop column telephone number. So what does happen? It drops the entire column entirely. So you can then begin the process all over again. Now, SQL to so this kind of drop table statement, you can actually drop the entire table. In this case, it removes the data and everything in that table. So for example, if you say drop table auto, it removes the table auto. Can you see it removes it entirely? Is no longer part of the database. Okay, but what of if in the case where you are not really interested in removing the total table, you just want to remove the data which is included in the, um, you just want to remove the data only. You just say, okay, I just want to delete only data. What should I do? So in this case, it's so simple. Even though you can actually use the data delete statement without the where clause, you know, it. Imagine if we have a very large database. This can take a while, but a quicker, a general quicker and more efficient way is to truncate the table instead. So you use the truncate table statement, truncate table, the table name, and add immediate clause. So what does this immediate does? The immediate specifies to the pro to process the statement immediately and cannot be undone. So in this case, for example, we might want to truncate the auto table. So when we say truncate table auto immediate, what happens? It entirely flushes all the data out and brings it and returns it empty. Yeah, so we have been able, in this video, in this lesson, we have been able to show you the alter table statements. The alter table statement changes the structure of an existing table, for example, to add, modify, or drop columns, okay? And also, you may also you have been able to also to show you that the drop table statement deletes an existing table. And we have also been able to show you that the truncate table statement deletes all rows of data in a table. All right, so till next we come with another educative and informative um, tutorial your way. We remain a do it yourself digital learning. Please do subscribe to our channel and um, do like and share our videos. We appreciate all you do. We are here for you. In case you have a particular topic you want us to treat for you. Please do send us emails. We are ready to attend to all your requests. At, uh, send us email, direct all mails to admin at do it yourself digitals. We'll be glad to uh, attend to all your requests. Thank you. So much.